Well, hello there, class of 2021. Welcome to Virtual English 4. Uh, last week, I had you look into occupations, some possible career paths uh, using the Bureau, Bureau of Labor and Statistics Occupational Outlook Handbook. You were supposed to pick five possible career paths, five possible occupations. Do a little bit of research on them, summarize what the website told you, and tell me whether or not you felt that was a good fit for you. This week, we're going to take that research that you did. We're going to dive back into those five career choices that you looked into and do the following. You are going to uh, do a career choice essay. So now that you've researched five different career, uh, different possible career paths, write a, an essay of at least 500 words discussing what career you feel will work best for you going forward. Your essay should be structured like so. So part one, the introduction, the beginning. Start off the essay establishing how you are currently a high school senior about to graduate and be released into the real world. Maybe provide some information about your home slash personal life that may impact what you will be doing after you graduate. Are you the person in charge of like, let's say that you are the head of your household. Do you live on your own? Like that would impact kind of your choices going forward. You could also have to take care of a parent or have to take care of siblings. That could also be a possible impact on your future going forward. Mention those things. Or, you know, if you just feel like sharing, like I, my entire family went to college, so I have to go to college. That's also a thing that you might look into, or that be, might be relevant for things later on. So part one, describe your current situation, start off the essay establishing how you are, uh, how you're currently a high school senior about to graduate and be released into the real world, and maybe provide some information about your home slash personal life that impact that may impact what you will be doing after you graduate. Which could also like you could also talk about like in the military and whatnot it is an option. That's an option you could possibly go with. Part two, propose your career choice. In this part, you will proclaim what you feel would be the best career path for you and why. This is the best career choice for me, and here's why it is. Is this career practical? Is it obtainable? How so? Why is it a good fit specifically for you? It might not be like, oh, it's a good fit because there's a lot of money in it. No, you specifically. Why is it a good fit specifically for you? Then we move on to part three, field counter arguments. In this part, you will consider what others might say about your career choice. Uh, what might they say if they disagree with your chosen career path? Uh, how would you respond to them? Recognize that many people will be reluctant, uh, that many people may be reluctant to get behind your choice. Explain to them why they should not worry. So even if it sounds, uh, this goes back to that four square argument chart that we kind of did. Anticip like even if you think that everybody will agree, think of why someone might not agree. How would you respond to those people? Part four, explain why your other options won't work. In this part, you will discover you will discuss the other careers you looked into and explain why they aren't as good of a fit as your chosen. You don't have to include all the other careers you looked into, just the ones that you kind of feel are relevant. Because I know I made you do five, but you might only be really looking at two or three. It's fine. You don't have to do the extra ones that you just did just because. And then part five, conclusion, wrapping it all up. Envision what your future one year from now and 10 years from now will look like uh, by taking this career path. I want you to look at what your future will be like short-term, long-term. One year, what will you be doing? And 10 years, what will you be doing? Now, this is a reminder. Some parts can be longer than just a single paragraph. So it doesn't have to be each part. Does it, I know you have five parts. You have a five-paragraph essay, but they don't always have to be just one paragraph a piece. You can, but not always. Sometimes like if it's a paragraph that's getting super long and weighty, you can chop that in half and kind of break it up into more manageable paragraphs. That's just a friendly reminder there for you. 500 words is the minimum. If you go over 500, you're more than welcome to. Uh, this is an essay that you have the entire week to work on it. It is due this Friday, uh, November 20th. And yeah, that's all. hopefully I'll be seeing you December 1st face-to-face, -face, except for those who are uh, virtual this semester, I won't see you face-to-face -face this on the first. There's a good chance I might not even see the face-to-face <laughs> -face students on December 1st. It depends on how the country's going and whatnot. Chaos, craziness. But luckily, you'll have a better idea of what career you're going to be focusing on going forward. But that's all I have for you this week. 
work on this essay. It's due Friday. Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. <laughs>